So now you will learn how to create a custom network manager. So you'll have a custom UI to start the game. So basically a menu that says join game or, uh, or host a game. Now, if I press play, you see that it already comes with a HUD here, the LAN host, LAN client, and so on. And this is the basic one that comes by default when you add a network manager HUD, HUD. Now, I want to create my own, and you probably want to create your own because this one is pretty ugly, but at least it gets the job done. Now we want to actually create one that actually works and that will uh, have the same type as the one of the game. Having said so, I'm going to create a new scene, which is the scene that will be the main menu. So I'm going to do file new scene and it's right there. Now I want to drag and drop some uh, files for to create the menu. So um, you will see that one of the files that you can download is the uh, multiplayer UI. So just unzip it and inside of it, you have a bunch of files. Just, um, you know, it's just like uh, for the main menu, just select them all and drag and drop them. All right, so I'm gonna drag and drop them inside of Unity. Now, feel free to drop them in a folder, but right now I'm just gonna drop them under under uh, assets, even though it's probably better if I create a folder. Now, next step, I'm going to select them. So I did add these right here. I'm gonna select them all. And in the inspector, make sure that the type here is um, a sprite 2D and UI. The reason why you want this is that you want to be able to use them in the UI and also as Sprite, and then click on Apply. All right, having done so now, we can easily use them. So what I'm gonna do is create the uh, actual canvas. I'm gonna click on Game Object UI and select Canvas. There it is, and here it is. Now I'm going to add the uh, background Game Object UI, and I will select just an image for the background. All right, here is the image and I need to select the image in a source image. I'm going to click here and select from the assets, the board background. Here it is, board background. And here it is. Now, as you can see, it's a bit small, so make sure you make it bigger. Um, I'm going to go with 300 times 300. Here it is. Um, that looks okay for now. And uh, now I'm going to add buttons to this. So I'm going to click on the canvas and game object, UI, button. All right, the button is right there. Now, what I want to do is um, change the, um, the, the button. So I'm going to extend the button. I'm going to remove the text. I don't need it. Delete. And for the button, I'm just going to select a source image for the UI sprite and select the one that says um, button host. Here it is, and we have host game. Now I'm going to play with uh, the height. All right, that's a bit too big, so I'm going to go with 40. All right, and I'm going to, going to move this up. Now it might be a bit small, so I might go a little bit more up. So I'm going to go with 240. Yes, 240 times 70, times 60. Okay, that looks good now. And I'm going to um, just move this up a little bit by going on the position Y and move this up. So as you can see, somewhere around 50 will do just fine. All right. Now I'm going to uh, rename that button to button host. All right. I'm going to do the same thing for the button join. So I'm going to right click and duplicate this one. And oh, actually I duplicated the wrong one. I need to right click here, duplicate. All right. And I'm going to call this button button join. And now I'm going to move that. So instead of 50, just, you know, drag it lower. Negative 40 should do. All right. And instead of the host game image, I'm going to select the button join. Here it is. All right, and that's enough for the menu. Now, obviously, these have no clicks, so we'll have to handle this. But before we do so, we need to create the scripts to drive the host game and the join button and the join game. Let's do this in the next lecture. Now we're creating the network manager for the main menu. Inside of the assets, I'm gonna go to my scripts, I'm gonna right-click and create the C sharp script and name it network manager main menu all right the reason why i'm naming it name main menu is that there will be two network manager scripts one for the main menu and one when the game is playing all right i'm going to double click on it to open it with mono develop and now i'm going to turn this into a network manager in order to do so i need to import the uh, networking 
And you guys should already know how to do that by putting the using Unity Engine dot networking. And now I want to turn this into a network behave network manager. So I take the mono behavior, remove it, and add a network manager instead. Okay. And uh, we don't need the update and the start for the network manager because they use different methods, Unity methods that come straight off the bat. And these are um, the on le level was loaded. So let's go and do if. Actually, let's just put um, void on level was loaded. Now, this is a method from Unity. All right. So here, what I'm going to do is uh, just say that it's a Unity method. And what we want to do here is that we want to make sure that the, the level that was loaded is the main menu. So what I'm going to do is save this scene. So Command S or Control S and save it as main menu. All right. And now that it's saved, what I'm going to do is just add it to my player settings file, build settings. And uh, let's add it, add current, add open scene, okay, main menu. So the main menu has an ID of one, as you can see here. All right, so then that's what I'm going to be using here. And say, if level is equal to one, then let's set things up. How do we set things up? Well, um, we got to find the buttons and add the, uh, the network and, uh, and stuff like that. So. What we're going to do is make sure that we um, we remove the, the click events on this whenever this is finished. Because um, what's going to happen is that um, every time this loads, uh, sometimes, you know, like you may enter and leave the game many times. And this sometimes may create a buggy buttons in the sense that you won't be able to click those, these buttons because uh, it adds menus on top of menus. Uh, because sometimes you disconnect a game, but you're not really disconnected. You may have quit the game, but the game is still running. So, you know, it takes time to time out. Having said so, let's write the logic. So if the level is level one, then this is the main menu level. Okay. And what is the main menu? What do we do? Let's get the buttons. And the buttons are right here, the button host and button join. So we're going to get them by name. All right. So game object. dot find and we're going to find the um, so that would be the uh, button host all right and what I want from this is to get the uh, button component so what I'm going to do is say button and call it a uh, button host is equal to game object dot find button host and then dot get component and the component is the button component that I'm going to get there we go. Now it cannot find the button. It's red because we need to add the using statement using Unity Engine dot UI or user interface. All right. So now we have the button host, and what we want to do here is just make sure that um, we add the uh, event listener on the on click. So that would be button host dot, and here let's do the the click on click dot remove all so I'm removing all the listeners and I'm going to add them back button host dot on click dot add listener and then I need to put a listener here so I do not have one yet so let's create it I'm going to create below um, let's say void let's make it public so that I can connect it on the click oh by the way this is like that because I need to close that for now. It's just temporary. I'm going to close that and create it here. Public void. And I'm going to name uh, um, this one to um, host game. And I need to write the logic for the host game here. But before I do so, here I'm going to write host game. There it is. All right. So I have the first one. So that's to do here. I haven't done it yet. And then I need to do the same for the other button, the button join. So I'm going to copy this and paste it below and say button join is button join. So that's the one we're going to find. And then 
button join don't on click and the listener will be join game now we do not have the join game so let's create it just right below join game all right now the logic to host the game and to join game is pretty straightforward whenever you want to uh, to uh, host the game you need to launch the um, you need to launch the, uh, the the host so you need to start the host how do you do this well uh, since it's a network manager we have access to the network manager and all its uh, singleton function so network that would be network manager network manager dot singleton dot and here in order to start it that would be um, start host all right however before even starting the host it's always a good habit to say on which port this is listening so network manager dot singleton dot and here we're going to set the port so that would be the network port as you can see network port is equal to by default it's 7777 7, 7, 7. that's the one that unity uses so we're going to use the same port okay but feel free to use any other port it doesn't really matter at this point just a, a port that's open all right and uh, so that's it for for hosting the game now let's do the join game to join the game we need to join this network right there um, in order to do so we need to know what is the uh, the address the IP address um, right now we're going to use localhost um, but know that you can you can uh, have an IP address on a server so you can store your game on a, sp on a specific server and get the IP address of that server and here we're going to do um, at this point so that would be again I'm sorry network manager dot singleton dot network port so again we're going to set the same port so that we make sure that we are talking to the port of the host and then we need to join it so that would be um, we need to set up the address network manager dot singleton dot that would be the network address is equal to so localhost would be 127.0.0.1 that's the that's the uh, the IP address when it's um, when it's on the web and I'm gonna write this IP address here now uh, if you if you are the one hosting your your website or I'm, I'm sorry I say website but it's a, you know it's just like hosting a website you have to host this online and on on a server that can run the game and then you will know what the IP address is but you can always ask and retrieve this through a form so that you can always retrieve the latest IP address uh, that's a bit beyond this course here but uh, it's definitely doable and here once we have that we can actually connect to it so that would be network manager dot singleton dot and here that's the client that will join so that start client and that's it now next thing you want to do is connect this how do you connect that well you have to uh, save that and go to unity and we need to import uh, this script but in order to do so we need to um, to add it so I'm going to create an empty object here so game object create empty and I'm just gonna call this one um, network manager and I'm going to add component and add the network manager main menu that we just created network manager main menu here it is now as you can see it has an offline scene which is this scene so let's select it main menu and the online scene which is the one that we are when we're playing the scene Iron Man all right and um, so that's it at this point you don't even need to, to do anything else here oh by the way we need to connect the host game and the join game button so let's click on the button host and now let's go to the click section and click on plus we're going to select the um, network manager and let's select the script network manager main menu and locate the one that says host game here it is okay and then the button join let's click on it click on plus select the um, network manager object and the function will be from the network manager main menu the join game all right that's it don't forget to save now we can press play and when we press play i'm going to click on um, on host game check this out click on host game and boom it launched the game so it automatically understood what to do okay 
All right. Now we need to do the same thing for John Game as well. Okay, so now let's take care of uh, of doing the uh, the custom for the uh, for the, the the main scene, which is the uh, the, the playing level. <laughs> 